And we're back YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. In other news, developer Ninja Theory sold out to Microsoft, or to put it more friendly, Microsoft acquired Ninja Theory, the developer who is responsible for games like Enslaved, Devil May Cry, and more recently, the Hellblade game. Now, that game actually established the reputation, well, not really established the reputation of Ninja Theory, but it helped it launch in the current industry. Hellblade actually made quite a lot of money for Ninja Theory, and I was really hoping that they would stay independent, because if there's one thing this industry, this gaming industry needs, then it is independent studios who have total freedom to create their own original IPs and games. So in general, I think that Microsoft acquiring Ninja Theory is not really a good thing. And I just hope that Microsoft treats the obviously talented people of Ninja Theory with the utmost respect and allows them to create their original IPs. Obviously, they are going to be Xbox exclusives. Also something I don't like, but I can understand it from Microsoft's point of view because they did not really made an impression at E3, so they are really in need for original ideas, and Ninja Theory has shown that they can create very original games. From the perspective of Ninja Theory, I can understand it, because their shareholders can now get some money off the company, and obviously Ninja Theory hopes to get more funds from Microsoft to create even bigger titles. But again, history has shown that being, being acquired by a large corporation like Sony, Microsoft or EA is no guarantee for success. You know, especially in the case of EA, who is kind of a predator and picks or singles out talented studios, and takes their IPs and spits them out. So here's hoping that Microsoft won't do the same thing to Ninja Theory, but I'm skeptical. So let me know what you guys think and leave comments and see you next time.